Hi guys, welcome to this uh, system. It's the ISO that will be released in a week's time. So watch out for the video, the news video. We're going to release the core ISOs as of now every single month. And what's a core ISO? XL and XS, XS, LTS and D. All the Bs, you need to build them yourself or you download them from the March edition. This topic of the video is, so we're working actually eh, on the new release at this point in time, on the new ISO. And the topic is somebody asking a question on YouTube. What if you wanted to replace something with something? And I wonder if he's making it too difficult for himself, right? You can try to understand how works, how does it work to make an ISO. But that's a long and lengthy process to understand the guide how to build an ISO. So there's lots of steps, small steps you can take until you figure out how Carly was built, how ALCI was built, how the XenMod is installed, how, 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 right? There is really a lot of material in here about creating ISOs. But is that necessary? The goal is to exchange my DWM with his DWM. Now, this could be exactly the same thing, exchanging my Alacrity configuration with your Alacrity configuration, changing my XFC setting, which is at the, at the bottom with the standard of at the top. It could be anything. That's the point I'm trying to make. This video is for anything that's in your mind, your what if that you say, I want to have to do this and that. I'm going to take the mic a little bit, guys. Yeah, OK, because it was, I think, against the wall it would be better now. So changing things is easy. You don't need to buy, uh, build an ISO for it. You don't need to do that. So if you have a look at Arclix B, one of the things is the Nemesis repo, which means that like me, for example, which is silly, but okay, here it is. I've created my own left WM Git. So all you have to do is get rid of the Arclix left WM, that pseudo pacman minus R, and install the minus S. And then yours. That's all it takes. But if you do this, you have knowledge about package building, right? Package building. You have knowledge how to create a GitHub and how to add the packages and the Pacman and all that. You have that knowledge and then you got the knowledge here maybe. Another idea is put everything inside personal. It's a folder. And if you put something in the folder when you build a system, of course, when you're trying to build something, you can fill it with lots of stuff. For example, very simple, try it out, wallpapers. And all you have to do if you want to have the wallpapers back, if they are on the ISO, if you've built the ISO, then you have here lots of wallpapers, Control C, Control V, put it in pictures or somewhere, et voila, you have them. That's easy, it's copy paste. The alternative, there's third alternative, right? It all depends about the knowledge, right? You are at the university and you can't do everything in at once. It's, it's a gradual process of learning. What's also possible is basically what I do with, and go and get my code with get nemesis. And the same thing applies, but it's much easier because it is text. You can edit text, you can read text. And you can say, just like me, instead of installing all kind of stuff, first of all, I'm gonna remove 
everything I don't like. So you take a look at all the software and you say, either I start with an Excel, which means maybe you need to delete a few things or a lot of things, or rather you start with XS, which is minimal, has nothing, there's no browser, there's nothing, and you build up, you install more. So it's your choice to say, okay, this is for me 90% okay, I just need to get rid of this and this and that, or it's the other way around with a very, very small thing and then keep installing, 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 right? That's what's goes, what is the fastest way to uh, reach the end goal? That's all it is. This one or that one, Excel or XS. So in my case, I've been playing around with um, the scripts because we have Arclix, Arclix XS and LTS and D, and then it goes on, right? ALCI and we have Ellis and we have Carly and, and so on. So I've made some decisions. And of course there is Arch Linux. And I tell the system, the script, if you're Arch, you're missing the Arch Linux repos. If you're missing the Arch Linux repos, go get the repos. So Arch becomes an Arch Linux at that point in time. And, and Arch Linux is Arch and Arch is Arch Linux, right? It's, it's one, the same thing. It's just more packages, more configs, so we don't have to do that all manually. So if the person in question, if you want to have a different DWM, what if you started with Arclinux B DWM, removed ours, installed yours, just with a script? That would be the easiest way to do it. Just tell sudo pacman minus R somewhere above. Where are we here? Minus R get rid of and install yours. And how you install yours depends on your knowledge. Maybe you can git clone it. Maybe you can make a package. Maybe you can make a repo. You have your own URL on GitHub where all the repos are or just copy paste it over. That's possible as well. Huh? All the applications are in user bin, DWM. If you copy paste your DWM over it, Pacman doesn't know it changed. It's your DWM that's there. So it really is, uh, think about it. Think, it, this, that's the video, right? Think about what do we offer? What's the best way to get to my goal? What knowledge do I have? I cannot make that decision. What knowledge do I have? What tools do I have? What can I do? And I think this is certainly one of the interesting things because basically I've done this on Linux Mint for years, right? You get a distro, let them do their thing on the distro. It was all green. I do not like the green color at all. It's, I know, it's, it's DNA, right? Don't like it. So the first thing I did was get rid of all the things I didn't like, install the themes and icons that I did like, get all the software I wanted, get my printer to work, my Bluetooth to work, and then you're a happy guy. But this, what I'm talking about now, can be done in a script. Go get this, go get that, all right? So voila, an effort to give you an overview of um, when you have your what ifs, to think really hard and to know all the possibilities we provide and choose the one that you can now today grasp, that now today you can understand and then execute and have fun. <laughs> all right, cheers.